Uh, I'll set up here. Hello, everybody. It's our boys Rio here. Uh, today's a build video. Not my build video, but this is the meta build. Uh, you see everybody running this. But I'm sure what I'm going to show you is my friend's build right here. So it is a hazard armor regen build and bonus armor build. Now, it's a very unique build here, right? So what he's using is a sniper. This Jet Addict. Now, those, those currently, <clears throat> the sniper isn't amazing, but you'll see why it's so good right now with a tank build like his. He, has need, he needs a little bit more hazard, but with his build, he could be basically full hazard, and he'll be uh, just fine. Now, we're going to see I'm going to struggle killing him. Now, you're going to wonder why, but let's just get into a fight real quick. Are you ready, Protector? Oh, uh, Like, I'm doing my best to kill him, as you can see right now. But you see how much bonus armor he's getting on me? I have max stacks of catharsis right now by chance, and I still can't uh, put enough damage on him. That was just a miss. See, I almost got him, but watch this. He's got all his bonus armor again. <laughs> I'm basically just shooting Brian at this point. <clears throat> That's the build right there. It still needs a little bit of improvement on his end, but it's just, it's just tough. It's tough. He can't really fight back. That's the only thing. But he could harass the shit out of me. You see how much bonus on me he has again? It's just, uh, it's an endless battle between me and his bonus armor. So, now let me explain to you why it's so tough to kill him. Let's see, where is he? <clears throat> so the drug addict. This is the key point of the build. Shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 20. So every you get 20 stacks of it, right? So headshots give extra stacks of 5% weapon damage on headshots. Um, but the best part is the on reload... Clear all your stacks and gain 5% of your max armor as bonus armor for 10 seconds. So he could get 20 stacks of 5%. So that is a lot of stacks. That's 50% of his bonus armor. Uh, of his total armor, his bonus armor, which is a million. Now, if, uh, if you go Rogue Protector and just drop your Hive... So shoot me once. Rogue hive See, that's his stacks right there. But you see his stacks are building even though he's not shooting at me. That's because of his hive. Every time I get bled, he gets bonus stacks. Now if he reloads, now he's got all that bonus armor I have to chew through if I if he would stand still. That is a lot of bonus armor. Plus he's also using Matador. So it's a very, very tough build to go against if you if you're solo. Well, he's in the adrenaline rush, right? So that's 20%. That's 70% of his bonus armor plus any extra matter to get to 190. I mean, uh, to get to 9% or 110. That's a lot of bonus armor. And him moving around like that, plus being full hazard, he should have max hazard once he, once he, the build is optimized. But that is a lot of armor regen and just a lot of a lot of going through. With my max, if if uh with my max. Catharsis, I still can't kill him. But if I switch to a DPS build real quick, let's see. Uh. 
I need to quit damage one. Now, in order to kill him, I will need to be a full DPI, DPS. Or close to. I'll keep the gloves. You know, one blue. Here, let me let me, let me do the gloves and the knee pads. Just for some ability. I would I would need to be at least this amount of DPS in order for me to kill him. That are three blues. I could probably do three blues. Nah. All right, you ready, protected? I need to be at least this many blues in order for me to kill him. So with this much DPS, right, you can see how much I struggled. If I was full red, I would have done it a lot quicker. But realistically, you're not going to be full red in a close range fight like that. I mean, you could be, but, you know, it, it'll be very danger. It'll be, it'll be in a lot of danger. So I had going on for me is, you know, my Wicked, my Perfect Spark, my Coyote's Mask, you know, full red, you know, my Instinct. And it took me that long to kill him. Like, it was a tough fight. Very tough fight. So, the, that build is very good. Especially if you're trying to keep a, keep a manhunt, right? Say, say he was keeping a manhunt, right? And then all his teammates died. He'll drop your hive and then run away. Yes, drop your hive. And I was chasing him. I would have, if I did go to his hive, you know how most people do, you know, I'm chasing him, I'm trying to shoot him. You know, he's getting his stacks, right? And uh, if I do any danger to him, he'll reload. And now that is a very annoying for a manhunt chase. Now, I know showing you this build, a lot of people are going to start running this build for manhunt. So people can run away like that. But it is a very good build to go uh, you know, do his thing like that. So you, you, you're really not going to kill him that easily unless you you have a full man that's right on him or like my teammate here. Now, uh, you can try running away again, you know, but both of us are going to shoot you. You ready to try? Right. If you have multiple lines on you, it's going to be a lot harder for you to run away. But we were point blank at that point. You know, that was a very unfair point blank, right? He had to run all the way over there from here. But we still struggled a little bit to get him. If he had his full stacks going on right there and he ran and we weren't this close, he would have gone away. But let me show you the build again. You know, you're using the Dread Eric. The survival, you could use any uh, specialist, but probably the militias would be the best. You're know, using the Dread Addict for that bonus armor on reload. Even if you don't shoot them, you know, you just gotta shoot once. Then you're using one piece y'all. Well, you can use three piece y'all, like he's doing with the post resistance to get that anti spotter and anti post builds going. Very good for survivability, because that's what he's focused on. He's focused on pure survivability. You could use perfectly efficient or unbreakable. Uh, it's up to you. I would probably use uh, unbreakable. And. You know, barrel common knee pads, get the armor region. Let's see, his armor region is at 60,000 a second. That's a lot. It's going to be very tough to chase this guy down and kill him. Very tough. But that's the build. I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's going to be a very big nuisance once you start seeing that build in the DZ, but have fun with it.